Netflix is great. It lets you choose what you want to watch when you want to watch it. Whether you're into cheesy romantic comedies or action and science fiction, here are some of Netflix's most popular and most highly rated TV series. What would you do if suddenly every single person you knew thought you were a terrorist? Would you let everyone know what's really going on, or would you run? This is the dilemma that Alex Parrish faces when her life takes a bad turn as an FBI agent. The first season was a success, and the second season, which is currently airing, has received a lot of positive feedback from both viewers and critics. This TV drama is exciting and romantic, and will leave you hanging at the end of every episode, making you want to watch the next one. The director, Joshua Safran, did an amazing job at portraying the rigorous training that real FBI agents go through. Though I'm not sure real agents are as good looking as Alex Parrish, Shelby Wyatt, Simon Asher, Caleb Haas, Nima and Raina Amin, who by the way are the same person, and hottie Ryan Booth. Oh, and regarding season two, let's just say we all hope Ryan and Alex's relationship will have a different ending than in season one. I guess we'll have to wait and see what Mr. Saffron has in store for us. If you haven't seen it yet, this series must be a part of your life. You just can't go through life without Blair Waldorf's love and fashion advice. The show revolves around the lives of Manhattan's elite. Blair Waldorf, Serena Vanderwoodson, Nate Archibald, Chuck Bass, and outsider Dan Humphrey. We see how their lives are exposed to everyone who owns a cell phone or a computer in New York City by none other than Gossip Girl. But who is she or he? You'll have to find out for yourself. But this show isn't just about life problems. It has fashion, popular music, and you can even learn a little French. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Blair and Serena were fashion icons for six seasons, wearing to die for outfits in every single episode. The show also teaches us how important love really is and how it can change a person. Oh, and you'll probably fall for Chuck. Everyone does. So go watch it now. How to Get Away with Murder is a drama, crime, and mystery show that introduces us to the life of Annalise Keating, played by the amazing Viola Davis. Keating is a good-looking middle-aged law professor who changes the lives of five of her students by recruiting them to be her pupils. The story takes a turn when the students Wes, Laurel, Connor, Michaela, and Asher get mixed up in a crime and have to apply what they've learned in class to cover their tracks doing all this whilst practicing their duties in court alongside their professor. The amazing thing about this show is that it's told in the past and present, so you always know what happened, but not why. It's for you to uncover in the next 15 episodes. And season two and three, well, they just keep getting better and better. Oscar and Tony winning Viola Davis rocks this show, so don't delay. The court orders you to watch it. Okay, we admit this one's a tad creepy. But even if you need courage to binge watch it, it's worth every step of the freaky way. If you scare easily, you might want to watch it during the day. With only six seasons, co-creators Brad Falchuk and Ryan Murphy have managed to creep us out in a way The Exorcist and The Conjuring wasn't able to. The best thing about this show is you don't have to watch it in order. And you don't need to watch every season because if being creepy wasn't twisted enough, Mr. Murphy decided to make each season an independent story with different characters played by the same actors. Now that's different, and sometimes difficult. According to the reviews, Asylum is the scariest season of them all, so watch at your own risk. The show's directors have said that the seasons will somehow all be connected. How they'll do that? No one knows, but thinking about it keeps us up at night. You can speculate too, but first you have to go watch the show. This TV series talks about a very serious topic, suicide. Unfortunately, suicide is still a problem and numbers are on the rise. 13 Reasons Why show us the events leading up to Hannah Baker's taking of her own life. Hannah, who's played by the beautiful Catherine Langford, is already dead at the beginning of the series, but manages to leave seven cassettes behind to the people she deems responsible for her decision. The cassettes contain the 13 reasons why she killed herself. The series exposes the ruthless and sour truth about life in high school, touching on bullying, drugs, and sex. These subjects are dealt with in a way that makes us uncomfortable, but also makes us understand understand just how awful reality is. The series has received great feedback, however this TV show is for adults. Some of the episodes contain graphic scenes that can be painful to watch. Still, we do invite you to watch it, since Netflix does an amazing job at creating series, 
and this one is no exception. Another Netflix original, way to go Netflix, Britt Marling and Zalbet Manglage entertain us nonstop with this eight episode series. Starring Britt Marling herself, the original angel tells the story of Prairie Johnson, an adopted blind Russian girl who suffers a near death experience and resurfaces seven years later, surprising her adoptive parents with her newfound ability to see. OA, as Prairie calls herself, can't tell the FBI or even her parents where she's been for the past seven years or how she's regained her sight because she fears they'll think she's crazy. In the meantime, she's trying to get back to her friends, who, according to Prairie, are in an alternate dimension. I know this all sounds a bit crazy, but that's what fiction is about, isn't it? Once again, Netflix succeeds with this show. You will agree once you watch it. Writer, producer, and director Marlene King really does enjoy driving us crazy. Don't believe us? Watch Pretty Little Liars, and we promise you'll quickly understand what we're talking about. She also has awesome taste in men, considering all the hotties that star in this show. The show centers around the lives of four girls and the lies they've told as they try to expose an anonymous antagonist who keeps blackmailing them. This all takes place after the mysterious disappearance of their best friend. After seven seasons, we still have no idea who A is, which drives the girls and the viewers insane. Of course, this one had to make the list. It's safe to say that Stranger Things made a huge impact last year when it was first released. Everyone was talking about it. Everyone was watching it. There's a good reason for that. It's awesome. Who doesn't love a bit of horror mixed with science fiction? They come together perfectly in this series. After a little boy disappears in a town in Indiana, his mother seeks out help to find him. His friends, who are also looking for him, are helped by a psychokinetic girl that they meet along the way. Crazy, right? With just two seasons so far, Stranger Things has been the topic of many discussions and has received amazing feedback from its audience. This is the show where things get weird. This three-season series has been making people talk, mostly because they're confused, really confused. Have you ever had one of those dreams where you wake up and realize nothing makes sense? Created by Charlie Brooker, this British satire of modern society has gotten people talking about whether we really are the way Brooker portrays. Like American Horror Story, this show doesn't require the viewer to watch the seasons in order, but the Brits have taken it to the next level. Now you don't even have to watch the episodes in order either. Why? Each episode is independent and tells a different story. They also vary in length from 44 to 89 minutes long. Now, if you work or have a lot going on in college, we strongly suggest you at least watch the following episodes because we promise they are life-changing. Season one, the entire history of you. In season two, Be Right Back and White Bear. And season three, watch episode Nosedive, episode San Junipero, and of course, our favorite, Playtest. Game of Thrones. Why shouldn't you watch this show? There just aren't any good reasons not to. Game of Thrones is literally everything. Even though there may be a lot going on that you don't quite understand. Yes, we know it's a lot to keep track of, but this show is still amazing. And truthfully, you have to watch every season to sort it all out. In this series, there are a multitude of interesting characters, some even having special powers, who are all fighting over land. There are even dragons in this six-season, soon-to-be-seven, fantasy series that is based on the novels by George R. R. Martin, A Song of Ice and Fire. Some scenes in this show include sexual intercourse, violence, and profanity, so it's highly recommended that minors don't watch this series unsupervised. But whatever you do, you need to watch this series. Please subscribe to our channel. 